Injustice is our twist on the blockbuster, over-the-top, um, you know, uh, superhero game in a fighting game uh, shell with, uh, you know, trying to add some pretty major components to kind of shake up the, uh, the, the fighting game genre. The characters that we have in the game, we're really trying to kind of really um, show a wide variety of characters, you know, from in terms of gameplay. That's one of the big kind of goals that we have is to have game players that are fighters that feel completely different from one another. So, you know, Grundy's this big kind of over-the-top hulking character, you know, Superman's more of a graceful power character, and we actually have two classes of characters, you know, the gadget characters, Batman, and um, then there are other characters like the power characters, Superman, Grundy, and whatnot. And it's this kind of mix between these two, these two types of characters, how they use the environment that we really want to kind of like um, have, have them not only kind of feel different because of the, the characters that they are, but also what they can do in the game. And, and the environment's role is the big kind of feature that we're really kind of pushing with it. Think of like your your um, environment as kind of like a, like a, a palette of what, where you can go. There's always an ed two edges to the screen. You know, we really wanted to put objects scattered throughout the environment that players can use, either above their heads, on the edges of the arenas, inside the environment. You know, they can actually use them in, inside the environment. We really wanted to have that palette of of, of tools. Uh, for the players to use as they're playing. And then on top of that is we have these transitions into completely new arenas with a completely different set of tools and environments. So you're really going to want to care where you are, in which background, with which character. The combination of those, we really, we're really, we hoping that's going to really kind of mix up the whole feeling so you're not feeling like you're playing the same game. Depending on who you're playing against is going to also matter where you're playing against. A lot of new people at uh, uh, DC, and you know our experience with them has been great. You know they've let us take really diverge the uh, the costumes for some of their characters a lot. You're really going to see some wild interpretations of, of characters that you're used to looking one way, but they have like I wouldn't call it like a Mortal Kombat twist to it, but it's kind of like a Mortal Kombat twist to it. So it's kind of like a weird. Um, you know, we're really into armor and all that stuff, and so we um, we can't wait for people to see like kind of our renditions of the characters that they've already you know know what they look like. There's always a balance between um, you know the different renditions of, of all the incarnations that you've seen of Batman over the years. We wanted to do something that's kind of like our our how we would have done Batman, and the same with, with uh, other characters, Grundy, uh, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and all that. And um, But you wouldn't believe how many incarnations that we've had. You know, there's, there's got to be a hundred versions of every character that we've seen kind of whittled down to what we ended up using there. So, you know, to me, it's just a blur. I've just seen so many versions of it. I, I couldn't tell you what, what he looks like, but, you know, our game has multiple versions also within the game. So it's really kind of a nice big twist that we're going to add to it. From our perspective, like, you know, once we got somebody, you know, like uh, Superman or Wonder Woman picking up a car and slamming on them, and, uh, and the, the, the collision range is like, you know, a full screen, you know, it's hard to kind of top that, you know, and so, so we really wanted to, what, what the result was we gave multiple uses of it. So Batman, on the other hand, he can use the car in two different ways. And, you know, someone like Wonder Woman use it in different ways than Superman can. So it's actually, you know, you first see something as outrageous as like a car slam and you think, oh, I want to play as a power character. But then you start seeing all the cool stuff that the, uh, the gadget guys can do. And it's actually in some ways more powerful. So it's, it's, a, it's a fun balancing game. But we really, again, our goal is to make, we don't want everybody to kind of feel like, oh, every character does the same thing with every, with every background object. We really wanted to kind of mix it up to make it that many, that many more variables involved in that whole fighting game, uh, you know, rock, paper, scissors. It's coming out in 2013. I guess that's the, that's the broad range date, which I'm sure we're going to be narrowing down as, as our, as our, um, as information kind of uh, get, is released.